Hola clase, os voy a hablar de la semana número 4 que vamos a tener la próxima semana. Voy a hablar de unas cosas. Uno, una función en el super site, una cosa nueva, diferente. También voy a hablar del examen número uno. Tenemos un examen del, del capítulo número uno. Y también vamos a hablar de un proyecto cultural que vais a tener que hacer este semestre. Y también vamos a hablar de la conversación de Zoom de esta semana. Entonces, la primera cosa que, que os voy a comentar es del SuperSite. ¿sí? Entonces, os quiero hablar un poco del, del SuperSite. Y una cosa, a ver, aquí. Um, una, un recurso, a resource, un recurso que tenéis también es eso, vocabulary tools. Entonces, es un recurso nuevo y es para practicar el vocabulario. Entonces, podéis ir a lección 1, por ejemplo. Y aquí tenemos todo el vocabulario nuevo del capítulo. Y es imposible uh, aprender todo el vocabulario en una, en una sesión. Entonces, lo que se puede hacer es decir que, bueno, cultura, no es necesario. Y de verdad, no es importante aprender, memorizar el vocabulario de la cultura, de la literatura, de la, de la cinemateca. ¿Sí? El vocabulario importante es el otro vocabulario. ¿Sí? Es este vocabulario. Pero todavía es, un lista, es una lista muy larga. Entonces, lo que podemos hacer para practicar es decir que no, yo solamente quiero practicar la personalidad, por ejemplo. Y ahora, eso. Celoso. Sí, entonces se puede decir que sí, yo, yo sé esta palabra. Pues claro, yo sé. Entonces, y otra función que hay es que se puede escoger entre Spanish to English o English to Spanish. Sí, entonces, stingy, a ver si lo sé o no, tacaño. Entonces, claro que sí, sí, lo sé. Entonces, es una, es una opción que tenéis para practicar el vocabulario, ¿sí? Bueno, otra cosa que quiero comentar es que tenemos un examen el miércoles. Entonces, es un examen en el SuperSite, ¿sí? Tenéis acceso en el SuperSite. Mm, es un examen para el miércoles, pero tenéis dos días para hacer el examen. Y eso quiero explicar un poco en inglés, ¿eh? So, your first exam, your chapter one exam, you're going to access also through the SuperSite. It is not going to open in the SuperSite until, um, until Tuesday. So, Tuesday at... 12, so at midnight, Tuesday morning, it's going to open. And it's going to stay open all day Tuesday and all day Wednesday until 11.59 Wednesday night. So that gives you two full days to, to do it, but you have to do it all in one session. Okay, so you need to figure out within those two days, when can you sit down and take it. I don't think it's a very long test. Um, I had a couple of options, so I chose an option that I don't think is, is really that long. I've given you an hour and 15 minutes to do it, but honestly, I don't think it'll take nearly that long to complete the test. There is a listening part on it, there's some fill in the blank, and then there's a few uh, short answer, and then there's a short composition. Not a very, it's not very long at all that you are gonna complete in it too. So like I said, it won't open until Tuesday uh, morning at, mid, at, uh, at 12 a.m. and will stay open for a full two days and you need to take it within that time. So, and you can access it here on the super site, okay? Um, ¿Qué más? Bueno, otra cosa que quería mencionar es que también una actividad que tenemos para esta semana es la conversación de Zoom, ¿sí? Entonces, ya está allí bajo semana número 4 y es un poco diferente esta semana. Como, como tenemos un examen esta semana, es difícil tener actividades del libro porque unas personas tienen su conversación antes del examen y otros estudiantes después del examen, entonces es difícil con, con actividades en el libro. Entonces, esta semana vais a hablar en los grupos 
para conocer a las otras personas en el grupo, ¿sí? Entonces, bueno, todas las instrucciones están aquí en inglés, pero tenéis que pensar antes y planear unas preguntas, preguntas de la familia, de la casa, del trabajo, de las clases, pasatiempos, todo eso. Entonces vais a tener um, que preparar un poco antes de la conversación, pero no mucho, porque parte es preparación y parte es conversación espontánea, ¿sí? Del momento. Bueno, y la última cosa que quería mencionar es otra tarea que tenemos esta semana, o este semestre, digo. Entonces, en Canvas ahora tenemos el proyecto cultural, ¿sí? Y voy a explicar un poco en inglés de, del proyecto, pero tenéis dos opciones del proyecto, ¿sí? So, you've got a cultural project to do this, this uh, semester. It isn't due until December 2nd, which gives you a lot of flexibility about when you can do it, what you end up doing it on. So definitely you should check your schedule with all your classes and see when do you have some free time that you can actually write it. This you're going to write in English. Um, and each one, you're going to choose one of these two. The directions are all there. It explains it really clearly. It, here's the explanation but it's also in this document here, the Proyecto Cultural, and then the cultural events for this fall. So basically you have three possibilities of cultural events, that, of, of a cultural project that you can do. One of them is this one, where you're doing either an event, or, so you're going to an event, or you're doing an investigation. Going to event, you can, we've got a list of cultural events that are going on this fall. Some of them are on campus, some of them are in the community. Um, so you can go to one of those, or if you happen to have somebody who, if you are friends with a Spanish speaking family and you can convince them to do some kind of a, a conversation where you talk about something specific or a meal, that kind of a thing. So anyway, read the directions. It's all really explained in the directions, what you have to do. So either a, an event and write about it, and you are given step by step exactly what you, what kind of things you need to write about. Or you can do the cultural investigation, same thing. It gives you some examples, it tells you what you have to do, and it even gives you some guidance as to what you can write about. So if you decide to do the cultural event or the investigation, you need to submit it online in this, in this um, assignment. Okay, you don't want to get it mixed up and put it in the movie one because the rubrics are different too. So the rubrics are fairly simple, but they are uh, specific to what it's talking about. So I'm going to make sure that, um, that you've got those. The other assignment is a movie review. And that one... So the movie review. You're given, again, the assignment. You're given a list of films at, at the IUPUI library. There's many options that you have. We also have a this canopy streaming at uh, through the library, so you can see a bunch of different movies in streaming. And then if you didn't want to go through, this list of Spanish films at the university library is fairly long. I think it's like five or six pages long. But if that's too long, I've also included in a shorter list of movies that are really good movies. I've seen most of them or read about them, and they were... And, and they're pretty good. And a lot of these are also available streaming either on Amazon.com, or I mean, yeah, either Amazon Prime or Netflix, or you can, or they are available for um, the DVDs as well. So anyway, you've got to do one of those two. You're going to write it in English. All the directions are there. What I'm looking for. So anyway, take a look at it. Don't wait until the last minute because the due date is very firm. On this assignment, you don't get extra days to do it. It's a very firm due date. It's at the very end of the semester. And um, because you have so long that you, to do it, it I, don't want to, um, I don't want you waiting until the last minute and then turning it in a day late. So I won't accept it late. But there are some really great activities that are coming up in the cultural project, uh, in the um, events. So you want to check those out. There's one in a few weeks on a Saturday on the 19th of September that is um, a big, huge fiesta downtown, Fiesta Indianapolis, and it's a really great party. There's music, there's dance group, there's authentic food. So that's a really good option. So anyway, take a look at these, read up on them, and don't wait till the last minute if you have questions. So I think that that's all for today.